What is going on everybody? Happy New Year! It is 2022. I'm so excited for this year. However, I need to talk about something very important, which is why you, yes, you watching this, should not make New Year's resolutions. Let's jump into it. There are four reasons why you should not make New Year's resolutions. First off, I want you to focus on habits, not goals, okay? In the past, I used to set goals for myself of, I'm gonna reach this number, I'm gonna score this grade on a test, and more often than not, either I wouldn't reach the goal or I would reach the goal and then be like, okay, I've reached the goal, what do I do with myself now? Where, where am I supposed to go? If I reach the goal, amazing, I reached it, I don't know what to do. If I didn't reach the goal, now I'm mad at myself that I didn't reach my goal. So instead, I focus on building habits now. Habits of mine that I can do daily that are gonna help me be a better person every single day. Number two is to make small changes and then build off of them. A lot of people wanna make these grandiose, big promises to themselves and to their family and friends. I'm gonna quit eating all junk food forever. I'm going to get on a diet and lose 50 pounds. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. They have these crazy goals. I'm gonna go to the gym six days a week when I have never worked out a day in my life. These things are not realistic. Start small, build with something small, and then add to it. So if you wanna start going to the gym, start going once or twice a week. And then as your body adjusts, then you can start adding on more days. Or if you already go consistently, start off with a lower level of training and then slowly build it up. Your body will get used to it. A lot of people have big goals for the new year, but then quickly fall off because they don't have the level of self-discipline they need to keep up with it. So what you need to do is first slowly build your level of self-discipline and then be able to do big things when you look back. It's been the same for me. When I first started lifting, it was you know slow and like a few days a week and slowly started to build up that consistency. Then I got more and more consistent. Then once I had locked in consistency, then I was like, okay, now I can mix up my training. I can add you know, progressive overload to make sure that I'm continuing to go up and getting stronger and bigger and all of that. The third thing is to forgive yourself. Provide room for failure. Another really common thing, and I've been in this pattern myself as well, is like, it's a new year, I'm gonna start doing X, Y, and Z every single day. I say like, I'm gonna read a book every single day. And I go for like maybe three or four weeks, then something comes up or I forget, or I didn't bring my iPad somewhere so it can't track that I was reading, and I miss a day. Now I'm like, oh, I lost my streak, I lost 30 days straight of reading, this is the worst, I'm just not even gonna read anymore. Like I. The new year's already passed, like I can't start, I messed up, you know? And the danger of setting goals and saying these things of like, I'm gonna reach this milestone, is that if you fall short of it, it's very easy to beat yourself up, at least speaking from experience. It's been very easy for me to beat myself up over that. Instead, what I use is this tip that I learned from James Clear, the author of Atomic Habits. By the way, if you haven't read that book, please read it. All of my thoughts and ideas in this video are heavily influenced by it, so I will link it below. But anyways, the idea that he says in this book is never twice in a row. He said, it's okay to fall off. Everybody does it every now and then you miss a habit, something that you want, or your day doesn't go how you normally like it to go. Everybody messes up, but never twice in a row. That's what he says is a rule he uses for himself, and I started to use it for myself now too. So let's say one of my habits is I love meditating every day. If I miss a day of meditation because I forget or something came up or whatever, never twice in a row. The next day I'm back on, I'm meditating. Again, every single day. That idea right there will really help if you're the type of person who, like me, likes to feel that you're being successful at something that you're doing and consistently dedicating yourself to, to not then beat yourself up over it and totally give up because I'm an all or nothing person. I'm like either I'm all in and I'm giving my full effort to something or I'm just not in it at all. And it's easy for me, like if I mess up, I'm like, ah, I'm, I guess I'm just not in it at all because I'm either all in or nothing. And so if I miss a day, well then I'm nothing. And this prevents that from happening and lets you get back on and keep going. The fourth and final thing I wanna talk about is, so if I'm saying not to set any New Year's resolutions, then what should the New Year be? It is still a special day. I mean, yes, I woke up on December 31st, and I woke up on January 1st feeling the same. I felt like the exact same person that I was the day before. It's not like new year, new me. I don't really like that saying because that involves drastic change, which we just talked about 
is not the way to actually achieve results. Instead, I like to use the new year as a marker for reflection. And so every new year, I like to think about all of my favorite memories from the past year, my trials, my triumphs, the ways that I grew, the things that I still think I could improve on moving forward, the habits that I wanna cultivate going into the new year, and I set my year based off of that. In this video, I'm going to link a template to the reflection sheet that I created for myself and my family and friends. If you wanna try it out, it has a list of all the habits you wanna set for yourself, as well as all of the reflections on the previous year to kinda of get you thinking. Um, and I will be making a video coming out next week called my 2022 vision. I have been making a vision video for the past two years and this will be the third time that I make a video like this, um, which will be releasing next Sunday where I go through all of my goals and my vision for the channel and for life in general. So anyways, I hope this video was helpful in some way. I hope you learned something, gained some experience, got you thinking about improving your life because that is something very big to me as I love improving my life and I love sharing the ways that I have learned to improve with all of you so that you can improve your lives as well. So with that being said, smash the thumbs up button. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe if you're new because I post new videos every single week and I will see you in the next one. Peace.